and we really had a desire to build a, a quantum machine, a thermal machine that, that was useful. And we found out that uh, one of the leading technology for quantum computing, uh, the one that used by Google or IBM, for example, they use the superconducting circuits that needs to stay very cold. And, uh, and to initialize their bits, uh, essentially, uh, these modes, they need to be cooled down to very low temperature. And so we thought in thermodynamics, we know how to build refrigerators. And why don't we build a tiny refrigerator and attach to these bits so that they can get very cold when the computations start. This is needed because in, in, in computation, you need, of course, to be very precise. And the one basic requirement for any computer is that you know the state of your bits when you start. And uh, knowing the state of the bits in, in this language is equivalent to making them really cold, uh, which is what we did. So we can make sure we can start the quantum computer without making an error even before we start. They can actually come from the very same environment in which a quantum computer is housed. A quantum computer is itself kept very cold by a big machine, which in some sense resembles a conventional refrigerator or a fridge. And so there are already thermal elements at different temperature that can be utilized to perform the cooling process.